all determining our winner. Each will take home a permanent souvenir. These are provided by Din Brothers of Boston and Holyoke. Each will take home some prize money. We have 1,200 of that guaranteed. 700 goes to the winner, 350 goes to the runner-up. $50 available to the winner of each string, and if they split, then uh, if they tie, we split that at $25 apiece. Many other opportunities, over 400, an extra 100, three strikes in a row, $1,000, several other ways that they can take home some more money. They're very familiar with it, most of you are. I'll try to remember to remind you as we're going along, but right now, let's talk to today's bowlers, shall we? I want to know, Fran, how come it is almost to the day, because you were on December 14th, 1963, for the first time, That's 29 right. years ago. And how come you still look the same? Well, that must be a good wine I'm drinking, I guess. <laughs> but but that, that is amazing. Of course, that was not a successful one. But then you came back again, and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Huh? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, 12 victories in a row. You finally lost in the 13th week. Yep. And that was back in 1966. Uh, well, I see that you're retired now from uh, the Postal Service, and uh, but you're keeping busy just as I am, huh? Yeah, I'm uh, managing uh, Sudbury Bowl now. Very good. All right, uh, and, and Steve Bat, I don't know whether you were watching last week or not, but he had a very easy win last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was given to me. <laughs> That's how easy it was. One pin, huh? And you had to sweat it out right to the last final two boxes, mm. huh? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, a win is a win is a win, I guess, although it seems to me that when Joe Days was leaving, he was thinking he'd rather have lost by 100 pins than one, huh? Oh, I think everybody would rather. You can find <laughs> one pin in a lot of places. <laughs> That's right. Okay, it should be a good one. Two excellent bowlers. Good to see you again, Fran. We'll get underway right after this. Challenger Fran Honorado, high single 209, high triple 480, league average 120. Looking at one, two, eight, and nine with some wood in back. Got half of it. This is the 43rd appearance on our program for Fran Honorado. The last time he was here was just a little over two years ago, about two and a half years ago, in the summertime of 1990. He has a spare leave. This is the six and the nine with wood to help. Oh, he thought he had it. So did we. Got the six, looked as if the nine was gonna go. It did not. Now our defending champion, Steve Vadney, high single 197, high triple 488, league average 127. He has a spare leave on the right side made up of the three, six, and 10. And he begins with a spare. going to be seven. However, the three pins that are standing are all along the back. He's got seven, eight, and ten with three pieces of wood in front of the seven and eight. He got just the seven. And Ralph Stewart, our love line judge and referee, calls time and he wants to take a check on a piece of wood to see whether it is behind the deadwood line and also pick up a loose ball. And it is in back of the Deadwood line, so that it remains in play. It's a nine.
Brian Honorado, today's challenger. The last time he was on, as I told you, was two and a half years ago. Strike! And uh, he rolled a very respectable 375, which is better than his league average. But unfortunately, he ran into one of a guy who's been a champion many times, Don Richmond, who rolled a 419 that day. First bonus ball gets him five and leaves the one, two, seven on the left, six, ten on the right. What a nice shot. Ooh, and it rolls over to get the against the one piece of wood, the seven, but it didn't go down. Brand was twice the Massachusetts Bowling Association state champion. In 1975, he was the doubles champion with Don Riley in what they then called the world. <coughs> he was also a world champion. Again, a little presumptuous, I suppose, for Candlepinders to call it the world championship. But let's call it the international championship because it does embrace some Canadians. Steve Adney. Steve looking now at two, four, and seven. He made it. Spare in the third. He got seven, and uh, he has left the five, the seven, and the nine. One piece of wood. It has come out about where the three pin would be, between where one and three would be. Five and seven still there. Loose ball, Ralph Stewart goes down to get it. Second trip doesn't get as much applause. <laughs> if he has a third, we'll have to check that too. All right, he gets a nine here. And after four boxes of the first and four boxes of the middle, we always check the scoreboard. Right now, it is Vatney leaving, leading 52 to 49. On the line again, our challenger, Fran Honorado of Natick. Little too full on the head pin. He has left the six pin alone over on the right with wood in front of it, and over on the left, the four and seven. Tried to use the wood on the right, but it didn't work. Just spun out of there. So now he'll go for the four seven. It's a nine. Al Giglio, as usual, keeping score on the electronic scoreboard, and Keith Williams keeping score on the big board for the folks who are here. Don Riley as our statistician and coordinator. Ralph Stewart in his usual spot, and wearing, I guess that's one of last year's Christmas sweaters. He's going to get new ones pretty soon. What a nice shot he had to seven, eight, nine, and ten across the back with wood. Beautiful shot. All right, Steve Adney, our defending champion, coming up. Phil Rubin, of course, is our producer and director. And Steve Adney has a strike. First ball gets him seven and leaves the two, four, and ten.
He was trying to use some wood, which was uh, to the right of the two and four. He did get the 10 pin, but didn't touch that wood. Now he gets the two and four for a 10 box. Fran Honorado working on a spear. This will be the fill. Almost a spread eagle. He got five. He left a full wing on the right, the three, six, and ten on the left, the two and four, and he has no wood to help. A little too far to the left, trying to just shave the left side of the two pin, but he missed it. So now he'll go for the three, six, ten. Ooh, missed it. So it's a six box. Our crew today is Jeff Sullivan, Skip Peabody, Art Donahue, and Bob Armitage. One, three, six, nine on the right, four, seven on the left, and no wood. Ooh, right, right down the space. Hmm, another six. All right, Steve Adney coming up now. Oh, what a beauty. Parallel pins, five and six, and behind that, seven and eight, and over on the right, the ten. Boy, he did a good job. He got everything except the five pin. But it's, that was an excellent shot. Another 10, but he picks up four because he's opposite a six. And now it, his lead goes from seven to 11. Four horsemen left side. No wood to help, one, two, four, and seven. Got the one and the four. Nice shot for a 10. It was the two and the seven, and he made it. Now Fran Honorado trying to bounce back from back-to-back -back six boxes. Another miss on the right side. He still has four horsemen, eight pin, and ten pin. He managed to get an eight out of it. Half Worcester left side, this time punching out two and eight. Brian had a 656 in winning his roll off. That's for five strings. It's a seven box. Steve Adney leading by 15 through eight. He didn't like that one because he missed the head pin, but uh, he has knocked down all but two.
missed the head pin. Two pins to knock down, the three and the five. Steve made his first appearance on our show eight years ago, back in 1984, and uh, it was a winning one. He missed another spare. Steve was on for five weeks that time. Four wins and then finally lost to Charlie Jutras. So he picks up $50 in bonus money as he has won the first string by a score of 120 to 100. It's the middle string. That means our defending champion leads it off. Here's Steve Badney. Looking at three pins over on the right-hand side made up of the three, five, and six. No wood. And he has a spare to begin the middle string. Five is the fill, unless something else falls. The object pin is the two pin. He's got two, five, seven, eight, and ten. Everything down except the seven. It's good for a ten. Now, Fran Honorado. We alluded to that long streak that Fran had. That was back in 1966. He was on for 13 consecutive weeks. 12 victories in a row. Now he has knocked out everything except the 10 pin. Yes, he has it. Six is the fill. He has four horsemen on the left side. No wood to help. One, two, four, and seven. Missed the head pin. Got the two, four, and seven. It's still there. Now Steve Adney. One and two to convert for a spare. He did. Seven. Two, four, and six. No wood. Oh, good try. Looked like he might have it. He kicked over that two pin, but it went behind the six. It's a 10. You know, it's interesting to look. Fran Honorado was on, as we said, for 13 weeks. I'm looking at some of those names. Some of them you'll remember. Some of them I don't even remember. I'll run them down for you when I get a chance. I don't want to disturb anybody here, but here's Fran. Leaves the seven and the nine. 
He began by defeating Flash Harper, then in succession, Randall Fulcher, Joe Scagliarini, or Scagliarini, uh, Ray Casey, Stan Swikowicz, Ron Pettit, Tony Baldinelli, Herb Oliver, Jim Bryson, Bernie Duhamel, Harry Snow, Jack Anderson, and then lost to Tony Leo. Nice try, but he didn't get to convert it. He left the seven pin. Jack Anderson, didn't he go on and write a column or something? Yeah. <laughs> now, Fran Honorado. He's looking at five, seven, and eight. He's going to. And it worked. All right, once again, we take a pause after four boxes in the first and four boxes in the second. So with the bonus ball still to be rolled by Fran Honorado, the score right now after four in the middle string is Vadney 52 and Honorado 44. Steve Vadney, our defending champion from Claremont, New Hampshire. He's got a toughie. He's got the five and six side by side, and back of that he has the eight and ten. Oh, he made it. Pretty shot. Pretty spare. Two full, almost a spread eagle. He left the two, four, seven on the left, six and ten on the right. One piece of wood that's lying in front of the six and ten. Took out four and seven. What he wanted to do, obviously, was shave the left side of the two and kick it over to get those two pins, the six and ten. It's a nine. Fran Honorado working on a spare. This will be the fill. It's seven. He's got the one, three, and ten, but he has two pieces of wood between the three and the ten. Yes! He now has two in a row. He has a strike on top of that for three marks in a row and $50 in bonus money and comes back with a big grin on his face. Now Steve Badney. So close to getting a strike. He has left the eight pin. He didn't get the eight pin. He went for the wood instead of going directly at the eight pin, figuring he had three pieces of wood there and they would take it out. Now he goes, obviously had no choice. He went after it and got it. Four horsemen right side, no wood to help. That's what Steve Badney, our defending champion, is looking at right now. like he was going to run it down. He had a 1-3 pocket hit and got the 1, the 3, the 6, but the 10 still there. A couple of missed opportunities for Steve Adney. All right, Fran has three in a row. Fran Honorado. The last one was a strike. He has two bonus balls to fire here 
in the seventh box of the middle string. First one gets him seven. And he's looking at three, six, and ten. He got it, four in a row. Boy, he's sure making up for the laps he had in the first. Now we're seeing the Fran Adorado we remember. Eight is the fill. He's got the six pin and the seven pin. He's got a piece of wood that's on a semi-fair uh, angle behind the six. It's pointing more to the pit than it is towards the seven, but maybe he can do it. Maybe. He certainly has the experience. He's going. He sent pin and ball, but the ball stopped dead. It was like a wedge shot. It just went up and stopped. So the seven pin is still there. The bonus streak stops. Ralph Stewart down there. And climb. Well, I think the applause was bigger that time. That's because he crawled almost into the pit, I think. And he, he meaning Fran Honorado, picks off the seven pin for a 10. Now Steve Badney. Too full. Steve had a 20 pin lead coming into this middle string. He now trails by three. And he's now looking at the two, four, and seven. For a 10, yes. He's looking at the 1710. He's got a lot of wood down there. And in case you wonder, because you folks who have been following it know that it's climbing 2,425 today. Got two thirds of it. Yes. And that's about the way it's been going when there is no wood up there and we set it up at the end for the jackpot. It's a 10 and a 116. Fran Honorado leading by three going into the final two boxes of the middle string. He sure wanted that seven to go down, but it's still there. It has wood right in front of it. Looking at one, two, seven, and ten. The 43rd appearance on this program for Fran Honorado. Thought he had it. Hit it just where he wanted to, to the right side of the number one pin. But the corners are still full. Got the 10. So it's a 9. He's opposite a 10. The lead is now 2. For Fran, that is. Three. Everything but the four pin is on the right. He has five, six, and ten still standing, and he has some wood on an angle to the left of the five pin. One pin, one pin separating our bowlers after two. So that's, how about that, going into the third. 
Fran Honorado picks up $50 in bonus money for winning the middle string by a score of 137 to 116. And obviously he cut 19 pins, uh, 21 pins down. Let's see, the score right now is Honorado 237 and Vadney 236. Our challenger, Fran Honorado of Natick, making his 43rd appearance, going into the third string, leading by one pin. Yes! He begins the third with a spare. He didn't like what happened with the fill. It's uh, four. Four horsemen plus five and eight. Left side. Is it going ball? Yes! The head pin finally toppled. He's got a sheepish grin on his face as he comes back and looks at Steve Badney as much as to say, boy, I lucked out on that one. All right, Steve Badney, who found himself as defending champion, trailing by a pin going into the third string. No wood to help. He's looking at one, three, six, and ten. Four horsemen right side. Made it. on the head pin and uh, he's got uh, clipped wings spread eagle two four and three six that's the left side and that's the right side now we'll see whether Fran Honorado can pick up some more bonus money. He has two marks in a row starting this third string. Seven is the fill. And the three pins are together. It's the two, the four, and the seven. Got the two and the seven, the four didn't go. A 10. Looking again at uh, the 42 previous appearances by Fran and I see a fellow who also had 11 consecutive victories on our program, Don Patchell. And he once defeated Fran Honorado actually during that streak. Almost a hammer, he left only the six pin. He has it. Three marks in the first four boxes of the third string. Now Steve Adney, who had one spare in the opening box, then a 10. Didn't get what he wanted. He has left the two, four, seven, but he also has the six pin. Made it. Pretty shot. Very pretty shot. Excellent cattle pin bowling. Seven more, and he's looking at a triangle made up of the six, nine, and ten. Oh, how 
did he miss it? He got the three and he got the nine, but one pin went on each side of the 10 pin. Big, big miss as he's opposite a spare. Fran Honorado with a chance to go back into the lead again, depending upon what he gets on this. He got seven, so, or is it gonna be eight? No, seven. He's got the two, four, and seven. He's back into the lead now by six. got the four and seven but missed the two. It's still there. It's a nine box. Four horsemen left side is what he's looking at now. The one, two, four, and seven, no wood. Just missed having a perfect one, two pocket hit, but he didn't get the head pin. But I mean, he just missed it. Got the two, four, and seven. It's a nine. So a pair of nines, that opens the door for Steve Badney. Our defending champion, Steve Badney. Steve is married and father of two, works for Sturm Ruger Company. Two, four, and 10. I've already mentioned that Fran Honorado is retired from the Postal Service and currently managing Sudbury Bolodrome. He's the father of two and has six grandchildren. Steve Badney got the two and four, but the 10 is still there. He has it. Now the difference is five pins. And our challenger, Fran Honorado, is in the lead. All right, everything down except the four horsemen left side. One, two, four, and seven. And he takes out everything except the seven pin. Got the one, the two, and the four. And missed that. So it's still a five pin lead for Fran Honorado as we come to the final four boxes. Now Fran Honorado is looking at four horsemen with nothing, no wood to help. Only this time it's on the right. It's the one, three, six, and 10. And he misses by one. He left the six pin. Got the one, the three, and the 10. It's another nine box. That's three consecutive nine boxes for Fran Honorado. After opening with two spares, a 10, and then another spare. Had 58 pins in the first four boxes. Missed the head pin that time. He's got the seven pin alone, and over on the right, he's got the one, two, four, six, uh, excuse me, 10, one, two, six, and 10 is what I'm trying to say, and he also has the five pin. And yes, he made it. A big, big spare in the eighth box of the third string. 
leading by five. And now Steve Abney, our defending champion, is opposite a nine and a spear. Well, that's what he needed was a strike. Strike for Steve Badney. Okay, first ball gets him four and leaves a spread eagle. That's the left side. So the total fill is seven. That puts him in the lead by three temporarily. It's a nine box. So that means, brings it down to two because his nine is opposite a spare. And of course, Brand is going to go back into the lead by whatever he throws as a fill. Oh, baby, get a good grip on those tray tables, will you? Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just three. Four horsemen left side, plus the eight pin in back, and the six and ten over on the right. And yes! Oh, what a spare by Fran Honorado after getting a disappointing three. Fran in the lead by one, and then he throws a spare in the ninth. Six. And the object pin becomes the two. Seven, eight, ten in back. Couple of pieces of wood off to the right. He fires and got just the two pin. And Ralph Stewart wants to go down because the ball is still on the deck. No, he's still there. It has come to a stop and now is removed. And it's a seven, eight, and 10. Another hand for Ralph. Fran gets one more, so it is an eight. 122. Needs a 123 to tie. And Steve Badney is looking right now at the two, seven and eight with some wood to help. And he's got it, he has a spare. Needs a 123 to tie. Here's the fill. He gets six. He has to get three of these to tie. Oh. It is, wow. If he gets two of them, it's a tie. If he gets all three, it's a win. If he gets none or one, that did it. He won by a single pin. What a gallant effort by Fran Honorado. What a great finish by Steve Badney. Just amazing. Two weeks in a row, he wins by a single pin. And the final score is Badney 360, Honorado 359. 719 is the total $100 in here. One interesting thing, Steve Badney for the second week in a row has won by a single pin. And uh, Don Riley has pointed out that 
Although Fran Honorado had 12 marks and Vadney had nine, the difference was that Fran left 23 pins on the lane and Vadney left just five on the lane. And so that's, that's, that's the way it works out. Okay, all right, now, 719, okay, from 709 to 729 is worth $100. 10 either side wins it, but even if it's nowhere near that, that person will, whose card is drawn will receive a handsome gift from the Parker Pen Company. All right. This card uh, comes from Millbury, Massachusetts, uh, and uh, it's from Evelyn Hamilton, and her guess is 720. Yeah! How about that? We have a winner. Okay, 2,425, Steve. High low jackpot just keeps climbing week after week. Two full. Hey, Fran is still there. Thousand four hundred and fifty next week. Fran, come on over here, please. I'm going to give you this temporarily. Uh, it's going to be inscribed. I'm going to take it back, and we're going to send it to you. Well, I know. Okay, I, it, it's just a shame that uh, you have to lose. But you, I may, I'll tell you, I was proud of you as a senior citizen, along with me, the oh. way you were bowling. <laughs> I want to tell you that three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, and uh, let's see, you had $150 in bonus money. It was great to see you again, you Always son of a gun. Pleasure. Come Always back and see me again, will you? And Steve, you are going to get this one inscribed and sent back to you again. And uh, once again, it looks like $800 for you, seven for winning, $100 in bonus money. And we're going to give you an easy one uh, next week, a guy named uh, Jeff Atkins. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to make a whole wash in there. I don't make it win all day. It's <laughs> okay, we will see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.